Michael here with another huge week in LEGO news. New LEGO video game 2K Drive, $450 Batman Returns Batcave, Marvel Visual Dictionary with exclusive minifigure, epic new build a minifigure. What does this mean for the next season of Ninjago and could we finally be getting Chronicles of Narnia? And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up over at Zabby, they've got their March Mayhem sale where a lot of these larger sets are between 20 and 30% off. Like the Boba Fett's Throne Room, which is 30% off. Next up over at Target, the LEGO Jurassic Park T-Rex Breakout and LEGO Star Wars Ambush on Ferrex sets are 20% off. And they also have the recent Speed Champions, Marvel, and Easter Poly Bags. Plus, starting tomorrow, they've got buy one, get one 40% off select LEGO sets. Over at Amazon, the LEGO Marvel Attack on New Asgard is 25% off. And LEGO Icons Real Madrid Stadium and LEGO Avatar Floating Mountain sets are 20% off. Plus, over at LEGO, you can still get the Easter Basket Give With Purchase with purchases over $70. So if you want to pick up any of these deals and more and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next up, this week, we got the reveal of the latest LEGO game, LEGO 2K Drive. The game is an open world LEGO racing adventure, which features many biomes and interesting wacky cars. And the game features tournaments with all sorts of power-ups as well as fun mini games, which can all be played multiplayer. But of course, unique to a LEGO game is the full garage experience where you can actually build your own custom vehicles brick by brick. And I'm curious to see what AFALs do with it when they get their chance. On the whole, I'm pretty eager to get my hands on this game. As someone who used to play the LEGO Racers game growing up, this one looks like a lot of fun. The game is coming out on May 19th and will have versions for Nintendo Switch, Xbox One and Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4 and 5, and PC. And there's actually three different editions of the game, with the prices retailing between $60 and $120. And the Awesome and Awesome Rivals editions do come with some additional content as well as a year one drive pass. If you pre-order the game, you'll get the Aquadirt Racer Pack, and some pre-orders will also have a physical version of this build, which can be re configured into the different versions from the game and features an exclusive 2K printed piece. And if you're looking to pre-order the game and you want to support the channel, there's links in the description below. Next up, thanks to 1414 Falcon fan, we've got more details of the upcoming Batcave set, which will retail for $450 and feature 3,981 pieces. And it seemingly confirms it'll be based on Batman Returns. Tim Burton's Batcave from the movie is definitely unique with all of those different platforms, so I'm curious how they'll tie it together in a cohesive set. And since Michael Keaton is returning in the new Flash movie, many are wondering if it could be based off of the cave we see in that trailer as well, which is similar to how the Sanctum Sanctorum came with two sets of minifigures to recreate scenes from Avengers Infinity War and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. As for minifigures, of course we'll be getting a version of Michael Keaton's Batman, and likely with an updated design. It's also said we'll be getting a minifigure for Danny DeVito's Penguin, which reminds me of the one we got for the Lego Batman movie, which also included a similar duck vehicle that we see in Batman Returns. And if we're getting the Penguin, I can't imagine and we won't see Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. Not to mention all the unique figures we could be getting for the new Flash movie. It's great to see DC and this movie getting a lot of love from Lego. And with almost 1,500 more pieces than the last large-scale Batcave, I think this one is going to turn out pretty great. And on the whole, I just can't wait for this one to be revealed. And speaking of Batman, this week we got word that there's going to be new Batman, Harry Potter, and Marvel books coming out. With the most exciting one being our first Lego Marvel Visual Dictionary. While we've gotten many Visual Dictionaries and other books, books from Star Wars, Ninjago, and even two from DC, we've never gotten one from Marvel, which would also give us our first Marvel exclusive minifigure. The cover features tons of notable Marvel heroes, though the exclusive minifigure does seem to be a placeholder. That said, while at the top we see Iron Man and Thor, we are notably missing Captain America from our MCU trinity. While we've of course gotten many versions of Captain America, there are a couple key ones from his original two movies that I think we're missing. From Captain America, the first Avenger, I could see us getting the Stars and Stripes classic version of the costume, or perhaps the variant with the helmet and the jacket, which would be more accurate than the pilot Captain America that we got in this previous set. Not to mention his original full costume that we saw teased in this poster in the Sanctum Sanctorum. And from Captain America the Winter Soldier, the other obvious choice for me would be the stealth suit that we got at the beginning of the film, which is similar to the Captain Carter stealth suit we got in the What If series. And while all these would make great options, as always we'll have to wait and see. For DC, we've got the Batman vs. Harley Quinn book, which comes with two mini figures for Batman and Harley Quinn, which are the exact same ones that come in this 4 plus set. But also included, there'll be the Gotham City in Trouble and Turn the Volume Down books, which include a story as well as lots of activities and this fold out scene. For Lego Harry Potter, the Magical Year at Hogwarts books actually comes with three minifigures in Harry, Ron, and Hermione, as well as this small buildable holiday scene. And that's on top of the full book, as well as this fold out backdrop. Next up, thanks to Jay's Brick Blog, we got our first look at the upcoming Build-A-Minifigure parts coming to Lego stores this spring. The minifigure that's getting most most 
people's attention is of course this amazing unicorn knight with that molded head with awesome printing. And the head is a nice recolor of the Lego video unicorn that we got before, and the torso is the same as the queens in the Lion Knight's castle. And it of course reminds me of the unicorn knight we got from the collectible minifigure series. We also have a police woman and this awesome skeleton pirate which features a brand new torso. Plus we've got a swimmer and this ice cream cone character which features the torso from the bathtub stunt bike, as well as that awesome blue ice cream piece from the Lego City Ice Cream Truck Police Chase. This awesome wizard figure does seem to be the same one from a previous wave, but this final figure does have a new dress piece which looks great. And as someone who loves the build a minifigure station, I can't wait to pick these up. Next up over on IMDb, we got what seems to be our first look at the new season of Ninjago. The page is titled Ninjago United and features this poster image featuring Kai. Though the design doesn't seem to be new as it's the same one from Crystallized. We also get some interesting images, with the first one being this poster featuring three different robot mecha, which look really cool. And they do kind of remind me of this mech that we got in that early look at a set from next season. At the top of the poster in Ninjargon, it says Mechmaster 5000, which makes me think it could be another video game like Prime Empire, or perhaps a competition. As at the bottom right, it says Reward Track Pie. And one of the other images does seem to feature a pie. The next image features a city scene, though it's unclear if this is Ninjago City or somewhere else, as there does seem to be two moons in the sky. But what's intriguing to me is this structure in the distance, which seems to be some sort of significant area, perhaps even an arena for that competition. The remaining couple images just feature some unique city scenes, including what seems to be an underground section. And while we can't glean much, the visuals are cool. And after everything last season, I'm very curious to see where this goes. Next up in LEGO Ideas news, there were three more projects to hit 10,000 supporters on the platform. So let's break them down. First up, we've got Welcome to Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe 75th Anniversary Set. Straight out of the classic book from 1950, we can see an unbelievable build featuring the wardrobe, the lantern waist, and the white witch's sleigh, all in a snow-covered scene. And for a build that's not too large in size, it is full of amazing detail. As someone who grew up reading the books and really enjoyed the movies, I would love to get a set based on the Narnia series, especially one like this with all of the major characters represented. So I'm definitely keeping my fingers crossed for this one. Next up, we've got Gothic Castle. The designer aimed to bring a fantasy castle to life, but instead of going for a medieval style, they decided to use gothic architecture. And I really appreciate all the unique shaping and detail that the exterior has. Flipping it around to the back, it's a complete dollhouse-like design with lots of interior areas and rooms. And I love how every room is packed with detail and unique furniture. I think this would make a really fun set, but we've seen many castles get rejected, so we'll have to see. Finally, we've got Classic Telephone, which has this really ornate design as it recreates a rotary style phone. The design captures the aesthetic well with all of those gold accents. Plus, there's a lot of clever part usage to bring together all the shaping and that unique phone cord. Like the LEGO Ideas typewriter, I think this would make a unique display, but as always, we're gonna have to wait and see how it does in the review. So there you have it, another great week in LEGO news with plenty of things to get excited about. I'm really interested to get my hands on the LEGO 2K Drive game, and I'm curious to see how it plays. Not to mention, I'm really eager to see how the new Batcave turns out and what Marvel minifigure we get as an exclusive in that book. But while I will have to wait for a lot of this, thankfully I won't have to wait too long for those new build a minifigure characters. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories, and which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations, and be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Michael here, click to watch last week's video featuring Mandalorian Darksaber, Pac-Man Arcade, 18 Plus Aerial Castle, and Temple of Doom set canceled. And don't forget to subscribe.